All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to one. And you see a guy with a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got a choke. Now he's okay. Now he can escape. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Wow, he actually got the takedown. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. I mean, how many can he take? Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a really good job of being aware. There's danger when you can't stop him. Oh, that is as good a strike as he has landed thus far today. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Great punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying shot active. Double leg. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh. And there's a big takedown. Final minute of round one. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Seconds remain in the round. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Both fighters throwing heat now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Big combination. just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, big elbow. Look at the turtle in that kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he 
Nicely postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Both fighters back to their feet now. Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break it? All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. 30 seconds now to go on the round. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Lands with the ground and pound here. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. And he continues to work the body here. Loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Huge liver kick. That might do it. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Back to the feet. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storm. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these... Oh, man, look, take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Two minutes remain in the round. If your opponent has to end the clinch, boom! Another huge right! Gets up again. And here we go. Good strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is both against the stop. That was a massive shot to the body. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! Massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many. Oh, man, look what that one body shot did. That shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly. And now he's got it. Goes down again. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. 20 seconds to go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he's got it! He's got it! 
Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight.